Hey, does music here and welcome to a new video and today I'll be talk well not talking I shall be listing my top 10 favorite songs by the drum and bass band Pendulum so if you don't know who Pendulum are as I said they are a drum and bass band but they also mix elements of rock into their music as well to form quite a unique sound so I'll be counting down the top 10 but I sh shall have some honorable mentions so first one is Slam, The Vulture, Showdown, Witchcraft, Salt in the Wounds, Immunize, Fasten Your Seatbelt, um, Different, and the Voodoo People remix. They're all great songs, but I just feel like they weren't meant to be on my list. So let's actually get into my list. So number 10 is The Fountain. This song is just a nice pleasant listen. And it is quite different to the other Pendulum songs, as it's a lot calmer. Um, this may be because of Stephen Wilson on the vocals instead of usual vocalist Rob Swire, but it might just be that the beat is um, a bit calmer. There's still drum and bass in the background, but it's just a bit calmer. Um, and that's basically why it's on the list. We all need time to relax these days. And this is a pleasant listen. And it's a good song, so yes. Um, number 9 is The Island Part 1. This song is part 1 of 2 tracks. And um, the second one is not that great, honestly. I do enjoy it now and again. But it's basically a knife, tra knife party track, but released under the pendulum name. If you didn't know, um, two of the members of Pendulum form Knife Party, so yeah, it's probably them that um, done it, and they're the two like main members of Pendulum as well. So yeah, but this song is called Dawn, and it features vocals from Rob Swire, um, as I said, who is the usual one. Um, the instrumentation is pretty good on this track. There seems to be a lot going on, and the chorus is pretty solid too. Um, the track does come slightly um, repetitive, but it is one of Immersion's standout tracks. Number 8 is Blood Sugar. This song is just pure energy, basically. Um, for 5 minutes, it's just absolutely relentless. It's a great drum and bass track, which you may have heard in like past old YouTube montages. From around the time it was released, so about 2007 to 2008, maybe around, maybe a bit later. But it is quite low on my list, as it gets a bit repetitive. And I think if maybe it was shorter in length, it might be a bit better. But that's just my opinion. Um, number seven is Granite. This song seems very sci-fi inspired, and not just because of the video, which is quite funny, by the way. Basically, it's the logo, which looks sort of like a flying saucer or whatever you want to call a spaceship these days. But yeah. <laughs> also, the start bit sounds um, quite alien-like, and something you'd probably hear from a sci-fi film. Um, but Rob Swire, I'd say, kills her on the vocals, especially later on the track when he's practically shouting. Um, the high energy will get you headbanging along, and you will most likely, for sure, enjoy yourself on this. Um, number six, Propane Nightmares. I know. <laughs> um, yes, the trumpets at the start of this is a bit odd and feels slightly out of place, but I, I think it's fine, basically. Um, I noticed as well that this sounds sort of... Um, 8 bitty, which I never noticed before, but yeah, I notice now. Um, Rob's vocals are again pretty solid. The, lyric, the lyrics don't make much sense, but it's an EDM song, so no one cares about lyrics really. Um, this song is so high energy that it's alarming. Um, and yeah, it's just a fantastic song that is a must listen for anyone who wants to get into um, Pendulum and their music. Um, the breakdown is also pretty cool. Um, number five is Tarantula. <laughs> and this song is just odd. I'm not denying that. It is very odd. It's a mix of drum and bass and reggae. And it's just beautiful. 
and the lyrics make absolutely no sense. But who cares? As you'll be head bang along to it. This song actually features um, DJ Fresh, who has had some big hits in the past, such as Gold Dust, Hot Right Now, and I think he was on that song Dibby Dibby Sound, I think it's called, which is quite annoying, but yeah. But this song is really good, though, but it's not my favourite on the list, but it is top five. Um, four is Watercolour. This song is just good. I mean, there's not much else I can say about it. Because Rob just kills her on the vocals as usual. The chorus is great. It's fast paced. And it's just simply enjoyable. I mean I can see this song being perfect for driving. Um, also there is a bit which will make you chant along with it. If you listen to the song then you know what I mean. But yes. Number 3 is Hold Your Colour. Um, so Hold Your Colour is actually the name of their first ever album. And this is also the first time you hear Rob's vocals. And he's a very good vocalist in my opinion. Um, not as, it's a good song, but maybe not as good as others. It's just, it's one of the songs that definitely got me into Pendulum. And there's one that I keep on coming back to. Um, I like the transitions from calmness to just a burst of drum and bass. Um, also, me and my friend joke that um, on the chorus, Rob Sawyer sounds like he says pussy denied. He doesn't say that. And on the um, long absence from the track, though, I actually also think it says, oh, soap in my eye. If you listen to the track, then you might hear it, but I don't know. That's obviously not what he says, though, because obviously it's not. <laughs> but yeah, this song is very enjoyable, though. Now, um, number two is Crush. This was the first song I paid full attention to from this band, and it definitely became a very early favourite of mine. Um, probably my favourite for a good ooh, a month, I would say. Um, the high energy of drum and bass mixed with Rob Swire's almost rock star-like vocals intrigued me to listen to more, and I was not disappointed. Some fans may not agree with its high placement on a top 10 pendulum song list, but it is my list, so yeah. Um, it's definitely worth a listen, though. Um, the final track um, is The Tempest. This, I would say, is the perfect pendulum track. It's just fantastic. It's a mix of rock and EDM, which really appealed to me, at, because at the time I was listening to both quite a lot so yeah this became a standout favorite of mine it's a long song but the build up which um seems to build up for about two minutes and um is some vocals from rob on there and then we are treated to a fantastic guitar solo which you should know is something that i really like in music um but then at the end of the song it also has an incredible instrumental um also, I'd like to say that Rob's vocals on this is fantastic, and he seems to actively transition to from like a soft and calm um, vocal style to just pure anger. It's a fantastic track, and is no doubt my favourite. So, that is my list. It was actually a lot easier than I thought to come up with this list. Um, this is the easiest list I made so far, because it was quite clear cut. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. All of the songs will be linked in the description, so if you want to take a listen to any of them, then go ahead and click down there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I shall see you in the next one, whenever that would be. Goodbye.